What is happening everyone, uh, this time we talk about the, the Mac on the Foxtech YouTube channel. You can see I have already fired up the Google Chrome and this time we talk about a very specific topic, namely how you can remove Serge Marquez from Google Chrome Mac. Now the topic is interesting because some people may be affected by it, some people may not be affected, but basically what the term Serge Marquez means. The term Serge Marquez basically refers to unwanted program or browser hijacker which is basically going to replace your web search so something like this is going to be replaced by something which looks exactly the same but the search results are going to be altered and you're going to see some things which you perhaps wouldn't see if you just search through normal google you perhaps of course naturally don't want to do that so the very first option would be to get some kind of antivirus or something that's going to clean your device so for example you can try this uh, thing right here I like to use this one so for example this one is called Avast or whatever you want to pronounce it but this one you can try it for free on the uh, Mac as well so you can see you can get uh, protect your Mac from this kind of stuff and just perform some basic uh, basic clean or basic scan I'm not affiliated with them or anything you can try a different one but basically search your Mac for any of these things make sure that you don't have any unwanted stuff, any unwanted files there, but that's basically what you need to do. You can choose, as I said, any other uh, cleaner, any other software, which is gonna do the same thing. But guys, I want you to use your uh, devices the best possible way, and uh, that's why I created uh, this free education platform where you can find, as of right now, there's the video editing course, all apps explain where you can find full guides for many different apps. We're constantly adding more to the list. It's free to access, link is down below. But after you do that, you also need to make sure that you perform some things within the Google Chrome itself. Because in this case, what you have to do is to open it up like this and make sure you go to the settings. You can go to the settings by clicking on the three dots button right there to open up this section, or you can click on the Chrome in the upper left corner and tap on the settings right here. So when you click on it here, what you have to do is basically find a way how you can reset the data and reset all the in advanced information about your history and about the things you have visited on your Macs. So click on privacy and security. You can uh, see right here, you can take the privacy guide to see where it exactly is. You can also check uh, use the safety check to to check now if there are any bad extensions or other things which could potentially harm you so i would perform or recommend you to do that but you can of course just clear all the things right here so for example clear browser data you can do that you can change or clean hosted app data password all the stuff you can clear that if you want to you can of course block third-party cookies i mean this is like more advanced uh, check for the security of your device and privacy so there are things which you can do if you go to the security you can see we have the standard protection you can also enable enhanced protection as faster proactive protection against dangerous websites which includes of course the search mark was as well so of course make sure to switch to the enhanced protection if you want and yeah basically just make sure to reset all the things and start fresh on your uh, Google Chrome. Now, of course, what you can also do is to make sure that you delete the entire Google Chrome. If you're sure that something is really wrong with this, make sure you delete the entire Google Chrome from your Mac and then re-download it once again from the official Google Chrome web store. So if you go to google.com slash Chrome, you're gonna be able to download it very easily. And that way you, at first, of course, get the latest version, that's the first thing but besides that you also get the safest one which is going to be clean and that's basically how you can get rid of all the unwanted stuff so that's basically it i'm going to wrap up this video right now that's basically everything what i wanted to tell you about so thank you very much for watching hope you found it useful leave a comment if you did leave a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure to subscribe so you never miss future videos like this one peace out until then